there have been several different videos put out by a lot of different people on how to transfer your images to your board using the lacquer thinner. Uh, I'm going to show you how I do it and um, it works for me pretty much every time. First off, you have to make sure that you're using for real good quality lacquer thinner. Don't use the imitation. It doesn't work as good. You'll need a burnishing tool. In this case, I use a little Cricut spatula uh, for removing the vinyls. To me, it works great for burnishing and uh, transferring the image to the wood. But to start out with, you have to get your board sanded smooth. And I sand my surfaces of my board up to 220 grit. Get it good and smooth, and your transfers will be a lot better, and you'll be happier with the image that you get to allow you to do your carvings with. So, all right, and uh, then you have to get it laid down and uh, lined up so that it's in the right orientation. So what I typically do is when I let draw out my, uh, my images on my computer, I run a line down the center of the image so that I know what's the center of the image. And then I draw a corresponding line down the center of my board. And that way I can line those up and I know everything is on center and it's going to be top to bottom perfectly where I want it to be. Then it's just a matter of shifting it forward or back, depending on what the uh, board has. If there's any knots or whatever, you want to work them around so that they're not uh, involved with the, the image that you're trying to transfer. In this instance, I'm using poplar, so it's just grain structure, just really pretty nice grain wood, so it's going to look good. Uh, so all I really have to do is just line up my center lines and it'll be good to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and transfer uh, or get the uh, image taped down and get ready for the transfer. So here we go, we're going to tape it down now. So you got the center line right here, but I've also drawn it over on the back side so I can lay it down to the match. And I've got it right there. I've already got it taped down on that end down there. So now it's just a matter of taping it down. And um, I'm going to get it fairly pulled up fairly taut. Drop my tape, sorry about that. And we've got it on. So now we're good to go. So now the next thing to do is I take a white cotton towel or a cotton rag. In this case, it's an old t-shirt. And um, I just put a little bit of the lacquer thinner on it. And I only do a section at a time. So I just do a few few pieces at a time of the, of the lettering. Then I take the burnishing tool and I just rub it down and that transfers the image right onto the board. Then I come back and I do a few more uh, of the letters and then the same thing and I just transfer it right down in this manner right here. And this gives me a good smooth transition. The uh, ink transfers over real good and you don't have to worry about it. It's all there for you to do your carving. So just take your time and do it bit by bit. And sometimes you need to replenish the uh, the uh, lacquer thinner on your rag. And uh, I can't reiterate enough that you need to make sure you have good ventilation while doing this. Um, I'm not running my vents right now because I'm trying to make this video so y'all can hear it. Um, so um, if I talk a little goofy, it's because I'm getting a little bit too much of a whiff in here. But... Uh, Anyway, make sure that you have good ventilation when you're using this lacquer thinner. So, just a little bit more. And like I said, just do it a little bit at a time. Don't soak the whole thing. Just do it a little bit at a time. reveal it see what it looks like and if we need to come back we can always lay the stencil back down and make it go again if I can get the tape to turn loose 
So. Okay, that turned out pretty good. I will be able to uh, use what I've got down here. I'll have to come in with a pencil and kind of straighten out some of the lines a little bit. Um, but um, that's how it's going to work. It's real simple if you just keep your rag soaked with some good quality lacquer thinner. Don't buy the cheap ones. Um, this is a clean strip, and I buy it at Walmart, but it's a good quality brand of lacquer thinner. And just do a few sections at a time, burnish it down, move on to the next one, soak a few letters down, burnish it down. Just take your time, go right across like that, and you'll end up with a good transfer, and that way you can have good lines to do your carving with. Hey, I hope this helps uh, some of you out there that are having trouble with it. Again, good finish on your board, smoother the better. I take mine up to 220. Line your stencil up, tape it down. Good quality lacquer thinner, a little bit on the rag, a little section at a time, burnish it on, move on to the next one, burnish it on, and then peel it up, take a look at it, and if any of it needs to be redone, lay it back down, do it all over again, just in the little spots that you need to work on. This will work for you, I promise you. Have a good day.